we give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man o international. Yara hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal you can't resist. Papa tagal pa ba natin this Friday? Let's end it off with number 10. All right, for number 10, we're going to talk about Meghan Markle, who will make an animated series for Netflix. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, is now working on an animated series for Netflix. The title of the project is Pearl, ding, ding, ding. a family series that centers on the adventures of a 12-year-old girl who is inspired by historical female figures. <laughs> it is the first animated series under Archwell Productions of Prince Harry and Meghan. Last year, they signed a multi-year deal contract with Netflix to produce documentaries, feature films, television shows, and children's series. <laughs> Release date is yet to be announced, but we're excited for it. Are you? Anyway, I'm more excited for this. All right, Britney Spears is already allowed to have her own lawyer. Is this the baby steps towards the free Britney movement? Ding, ding, ding. This is a victory for Britney Spears as the judge ruled that the pop singer can get her own lawyer in conservatorship battle. The Los Angeles Superior Court judge approved Matthew Rosengart as Britney's lawyer. So now, on her second time to address the court publicly, Britney expressed her desire to sue her dad, Jamie Spears, for being the brain behind the conservatorship. The singer explained that she has to get rid of her dad and charge him with conservatorship abuse because their goal is to make her feel like crazy. Ding, ding, ding. Let us see where this goes. Shakira, Shakira! <laughs> Guys, so Shakira did drop a new single, and we're going to talk about that. It's called Don't Wait Up. The Colombian singer has been working on new music since last year. She wanted to have something to work on since quarantine protocols. But prior to this, she did release a documentary film about her career threatening vocal cord injury and how she became a survivor. Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Oh, baby, you know, dance like this. You would command want to speak Spanish. Wait, hold a second. Finally, Deadpool and Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ding, ding, ding. Well, is this going to be the crossover we've been happening and waiting for? Well, really, sort of. Deadpool star Ryan Reynolds posted a video where he is seen with Org, the Thor Ragnarok. They react to the trailer of Free Guy, which stars Ryan Reynolds and Taika Waititi. To check this out, we also have a guest reactor this week, Korg, who was not my first choice, but apparently everyone else was too busy over on Disney Plus. Say hello, Korg. Hello, I'm made of rocks. Thank you for having me, Paul. Sorry, you're dead. Jesus Christ. Let's take a look. My name is Guy. Sorry, oh, he's named Paul, Guy. Sorry. Like the movie's title. That's pretty clever. Is it? I've got a best friend. This is the greatest cup of coffee of all time. Oh, oh! Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, okay, guys. Let's, yeah. let's just pause for a second and let everyone comment first. Or this trailer gives away too much. Or Ryan Reynolds is just me, which is super insulting, by the way. All done. And I work at the bank. Ah, this is the first time that Deadpool is seen together with a character from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fans have been wanting for this to happen. Who knows? This might be the start since it's in phase four. Anyway, for number six, I'm Phil and Pride. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo visits the White House. <laughs> Phil American teen star and singer Olivia Rodrigo just went to the White House and met with U.S. President Joe Biden. <laughs> this isn't an ordinary appearance of courtesy call to the White House, guys. It's actually spurred by Olivia's mission to get the youth vaccinated. <laughs> it's because some of the vaccines are available in their country and it's so easy to get. So it's already been approved by the U.S. government for minors. Here's Olivia's word of words of encouragement for the young ones in the USA still raging to fight the COVID-19. Hey, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and today I'm at the White House meeting with President Biden and Dr. Fauci because it's so important that we all get vaccinated. 
doesn't matter if your dog can help me. Getting the vaccine is about protecting yourself, your friends, and your family. Let's get back to it. Superstar. Anyway, guys, before we move on, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with Replace at 10 p.m. on 1PH. And you can read us up on onenews.ph. Hello to the OO and Ethics Call and Addicts. Hi, Judy. And thank you for always screenshotting this. Yes. Anyway, halfway on the show. All right. Barbie Almalbis releases a new studio album. Ding, ding, ding. Did you miss having her on the spotlight? Well, OPM singer songwriter Barbie, Barbie Almalbis is giving fans a musical treat as she released her fourth studio album called Scenes from the Inside. The album consists of nine tracks featuring her signature pop rock genre and melodic sweetness. Barbie and her bandmates will be having a live ritual performance later as part of the launching of the newest album, Catch Them, 7 p.m. on Barbie's official Facebook page. All right. Halfway, number four. Okay, so we're going to talk about Amy Perez mourning the death of Hans Mortel. Ding, ding, ding. Sad news, everybody. Who will even forget the tandem of Chang Amy and Hans on the hit TV5 show Face to Face? Their bonding and partnership really lasted for a long time as Amy, Amy or Amy Perez bid goodbye to Hans Mortel. In a photo posted by Chang on Instagram, she described Hans as her favorite so so -ero. Hi, Hans also, Hans' sister confirmed his passing, which as per reports was due to a severe case of pneumonia. Oh, rest in peace, Hans, and you will be missed. This is the talk of the town. Willie Revillame will give a big announcement. <laughs> TV host Willie Revillame said, said that he will be making a big announcement on August. Who you will that is specify what it's all about, but he's slams reports who belittle artists or actors like him. In one episode of his daily show, Willie also said, and I quote, Wag kayong mag-alala, hindi ako kengkoy sa Senado. Hindi kami magkikengko yan. Tutulong gagawa ng paraan, gagawa ng batas sa mga taong nagugutom. Hindi po mapapata magpapatawa doon. Wag nyo namang nilalait ang mga artista. End of quote. Remember, in the latest Pulse Asia survey, Willie's included top 10 senatorial preferences. Well, is it that one? Let us see. Anyway, number two. <laughs> Miss Universe PH coronation set already this September. <laughs> Miss Universe Philippines is gearing up for a second edition. And wow, that is such short notice. In the recent media conference for the current crown holder, Rabia Mateo, the organization shared their plans leading to the coronation night on September. They will announce a top 100 delegates next week. And of course, this will be narrowed down to 75, eventually to 50, who will fly to Manila for an in-person interview with the organization. And from 50, the number will go down to 30. What? This will be announced in August. These 30 will be the ones to compete come coronation night for Miss Universe Philippines. Let's find out who the girls will be in the second edition of Miss Universe PH. And for number one, I can't believe that you number one though, but yes, we're gonna talk about Papa D. Dahil takot siya sa ipis. Oo, takot sa flying cockroach, okay? Well, I get pissed, I kill them all if I see them. But how would you react when you see one? Are you like Derek? <laughs> In a video that has gone viral, Derek was seen screaming like mad when fiance Ellen Darna showed him a cockroach. Check this out. No, 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 no. Stop it. Big, 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 big. No, love, please. Stop it. No, love, please. Stop it. <laughs> Ended the week with good vibes for ya. But before we end, of course, just a general, general reminder for everybody to continue ensuring we're all safe from COVID-19. Wear a mask, disinfect, practice social distancing, and get vaccinated. That's it for today. See you tomorrow, mga kapatid. Makilista my countdown Mondays to Fridays, 4.15 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on 1PH. I'm MJ Marfori. 
follow me on my socials it's MJ Marfor, you all across. Thank you so much for joining me. And yes, you can read up on onenews.ph. Please get vaccinated, everybody. I'll see you on Monday. Ta ta. This is Celebrity Top 10.